Okay, so, um, as I've been making this, uh, well, a new pack just came out and people are running the hell out of it, out of this new format, but, you know, haven't had much time or the budget to, um, really work on any of, the, any of those decks, not that I'm interested, but, here it is, this is today's deck, the Sky Strikers. When I first came across the deck, oh my god, was I impressed. And the way this deck runs is actually pretty unique. I mean, it's very Link heavy, which is good because um, I'm still fairly new to the Link mechanic. And if you are too, this is a great deck to run. If you want to, if you want to familiarize yourself with how Link monsters work. So, hmm. Let us get started with the deck pro ah, excuse me. Let us get started with the deck profile. So we begin with uh, a whole bunch of hand traps. Uh, effect double effect veiler, maxi, ash blossom, and ghost bell. Um actually. Hmm, excuse me. You could maybe make do without ghost spell. But ghost spell does have a secondary purpose which is the reason why i'm running it and you know plus uh I can really use the extra hand traps i mean you can also go with something like joel and lockbird but i don't have that card right now and as you can see i can't craft it at the moment so that's what i got and plus this has been really working out for me hey um maxi ash blossoms are pretty much mandatory but with ghost spell you can pretty much stop a lot of graveyard effects that's how i run it um and I will get to the other reason why I run it, and uh, the re also the reason why I'm running a fake Veiler over, say, Infinite Impermanence, but... Excuse me. Uh, do, do what you will with it. That's why I have to say about that. So, the other main monsters I get are uh, Sky Striker, Ace, Ray, and Rose. Only one Rose, but uh, because Ray is the real bread and butter around here. Now, what's unique about this is archetype is that... Mm, it's very spell-heavy, as you can see. And this is the only monster in the archetype. That's another unique thing. And I will get into why that is. It's actually a really good uh, lore. It's got some great story behind it, so. You know, it's very interesting. Just wait to see it in action. Um, but not uh, I'm not sure what, how I'll do against the new decks, but I look forward to I look forward to it. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so. Um, with mo now for the spell cards, let's get into it, okay? Now, the way Sky Strikers work, actually, is uh, very spell-heavy for a reason. All right, so let's start with the uh, one monster reborn. Uh, triple upstart goblins. That's uh, surprising for me. Uh, uh, reinforcing the army to search out Ray. Uh, Ray is the important one. Terraforming to search out the field spell of the deck. Uh, one pot of Adder Ice to recover... To recover the link monsters because again this deck is very link heavy so having a whole bunch of link monsters in the grave just basically gives you a plus one uh a plus two draw right there like for free almost uh two foolish burial goods because you need spell cards in the graveyard to make this deck work and uh i will and i will get into it right now actually and for and uh you'll see why so start the first uh is guy striker mobilize engage this is the searcher that's as you search out any Sky Striker card. You heard me, card. But the, what Sky Striker spells share is simple. Hmm. They only work if you have no monsters in the main monster zone. And that's part of the gimmick here. It's all about the links. It's all about the extra monster zone. Um, so. They also have a secondary effect when you have at least three uh, spell cards in the graveyard. And, and in the case of Engage, you notice that's semi-limited. Yeah, Sky Strikers were pretty broken when they came out, so much so that they put a few cards in the, on the ban list because of this. I mean, this is semi-limited. One, uh, another card semi-limited. Another card is limited. One of the extra deck monsters is also limited. So, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty good, especially when it gets going. It's slow to start, but once you pick up the momentum, oh my god, it, it picks up. Uh, another reason why I run Foolish very good, so I can get to that momentum faster. Uh, triple upstarts, uh, again, free spell card in the graveyard. Why not? 
All right, so continuing on, I got I actually run two Sky Striker maneuver afterburn, even though most decks only run one because this is the main destroyer of the deck, the uh, main monster destroyer. I know that I don't run Regeki, I don't run um, uh, I don't run uh, freaking uh, a lightning storm. Uh, at the time I'm making this, there's a real lightning storm going on right now, actually. And its secondary effect is that when hmm, you have three spellcards in the grave, you can also destroy a back row. So that's also great for back row removal. Uh, next is the field spell of the deck. Uh, this is why I run terraforming. Uh, Sky Striker Airspace Area 0. So what this card does is uh, you select a card in the field and then you excavate three cards from the top of your deck. If any of them are Sky Striker cards, you can add it to your hand and send the selected card to the graveyard. And it also has a floating effect. When it's sent to the graveyard in any way whatsoever, you can special summon a Sky Striker monster from the deck. So it combos really well with the next card, uh, Sky Striker Mega, Mo uh, Sky Striker Me Mega Modules multi roll uh, multi roll is what... Um, I underestimated this card at first. I didn't run it at first until I saw what you actually do. So for starters, um, mm, for free, you can send any card you control to the graveyard. And that's used to trigger um, air area zone, or yeah, area zone to the... Uh, that's what triggers area zone's uh, floating effect. Uh, also, a secondary effect is that uh, for every Sky Striker spell card you play, you get to take that many Sky Striker spells with different names, of course, and set it onto the field during your end phase. Um, at the cost of then getting banished afterwards. So it's a high risk, high reward uh, card because think about it. They're set on the field during your opponent's turn, so your opponent can take them out at any moment. Uh, f -f 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 so next up, uh, we got uh, Cosmic Cyclone. My back row, the back row removal of my choice for this deck, because by banishing, you can bypass a lot of floating effects. And speaking of which, I also got Double Call of the Grave, uh, Call by the Grave, sorry. Uh, this uh, is to basically stop hand traps. Next, we got uh, one copy of Sky Strike and Mecha Hor Hornet Drone, Hornet Drones. There you go, and. This card is limited for a reason. This, uh, it basically acts like um, another Sky Striker monster. Uh, so what it does is it lets you summon the Sky Striker Ace token. And if you have uh, three spells in the graveyard, it has uh, has 1,500 attack and defense. So not that good of a secondary effect, but you're you're mostly using it just to uh, link summon anyway. So that's the reason why it's limited. So next we got the main card here. This is what gets this deck going. Uh, Widow Anchor. Sky Striker Mecha Widow Anchor. It's semi limited to two for a reason because this deck, oh my god, it can disrupt so well. And here's what it does you pick a monster in the field and negate the effect. That's simple. But if you have three spell cards in the grave, you can also take control of it. So, ooh, you can do a lot with this, uh, with this card. Trust me, once you're able to get Widow Anchor onto, onto the field, uh, your opponent's going to have a bad time. You're going to have a great time for your opponent. They're going to have a bad time. And finally, two copies of uh, Sky Striker Mecha Eagle. You know, Eagle Booster. Which, um, I'm surprised it's actually a normal card because this card is busted as hell. So, what it does is simple. You pick a card in the field. Any monster, actually. You pick any monster in the field. And it's completely immune to all card effects. Completely immune. And if you have three spells in the graveyard, it cannot be destroyed by battle either. So therefore, you use this on one of your monsters, it becomes impossible to remove. So once again, it really messes your opponent. Um, the only thing I can really do at that point is simply uh, tribute it with the, with the kaiju or something, which doesn't happen very often. I mean, kaijus are pretty common, but the summoning of, of a kaiju is not. So, so that's... Uh, that's pretty much it for the main deck. Now, before I continue, something I didn't do in my, la in my last deck profile is uh, do like a discussion portion. And that's what I like to do now because uh, there are actually some more Sky Striker support for this deck. But I do not run all of them simply because um, this deck doesn't necessarily need all of them. And plus, there's, I'm running cards that actually do a way better job than these. Uh, I guess the only reason you'll want to run them is because they're searchable with Engage. Unlike uh, these two right here, they're not searchable, even though they're Sky Striker versions of these cards. But trust me, um, 
in reality, you don't re you you do really don't really want them. I mean, you can still run them if you can, if you want, but they are not as good as the other cards. Let me explain. Let's, let's start with this one, for example. Sky Strike Maneuver Jammy Waves. And what this card does is uh, you can destroy one set spell or trap card. And if you have three spells in the grave, you can also destroy one monster. So basically, uh, it does what uh, Afterburner does, except, you know, inverted. But here's the problem. It only targets face-down cards, face-down spells and trap cards. And the secondary effect can only trigger if you actually destroy a spell or trap. Um, and it's for that reason why I run... Um, it's really reason why I run the Cosmic Cycle instead, because it just... It not only it, it, it banishes the card, it's also a quick play that banishes cards. Okay, this is a normal spell. Well, Cosmic Cycle is a quick play spell. I mean, you could run this just, to, just as a search. I mean, I know some decks run at least one copy of this card, but I don't. Okay, now uh, here's another one I used to run, but not anymore. Um, so it, uh, it's Vector Blast, Sky Striker Maneuver ve Vector Blast. And what it does is if you have no monsters on the field, um, in your monster zone, sorry. Like your main monster zone. Monster, ah, what is wrong with me? You and your opponent have to mill two cards. And... That's good in the early game, but not the late game, because... For starters... Yes, this card can get spell cards in the grave with faster draw. I used to run that, but you don't necessarily have any control of what goes in the grave. And that's actually important for how the combo works, which I'll explain later on. Uh, you have no control over what, go what goes in the grave, and so there's a reason why I run Foolish Barrel Goods. And its secondary effect is way too situational. Because nowadays, um, people who run, uh, like, Synchros and Xyz deck, they don't u utilize the extra deck very often. So it's only, it's, it's like when they're using links or whatever. And that's what the secondary effect does. It just lets you choose a card in the extra monster zone and just get rid of it. So, too situational, and you better off using using afterburners. So, uh, so the next one is Scissors Cross. Um, so what this card does is that you pick a Sky Striker monster and special summon it. Uh, it has to be uh, the level four one, which will most likely use it on Ace. I'm sorry, Ray. No, no. The special summoning is a secondary effect. Its primary effect is added to your hand. Which is basically a monster reborn. So you're better off just running monster reborn and really and plus you run three copies. Not to mention Ray um has has the ability to bring herself back from the grave when uh, one of your extra deck monsters is destroyed. Um Rose over here is that, um actually can bring herself back if a monster from the opponent's extra deck is removed. And that's for that reason why, why I only run one copy of it, because just because of that secondary effect. It's way too situational, but I can still use it for uh, Link Summoning, so you're better off using the Monster Reborn over this. Now, here's one that uh, I've seen one Sky Striker player try, but again, it's not very good. Um, for starters, um, you can only equip it to a Sky Striker monster. I'm sorry, not, actually, no, no, no. You can equip it to any monster. It cannot attack directly, but it can attack twice. And if it succeeds in destroying a card, uh, destroying a monster, you, it basically acts like part of Advertise, except for spells. But even though this is a great way to recover spells, you don't want to do that. You don't want to shove them back into your deck. No, you want to get get them back in your hand. And that's how my deck runs. You know, just to you know, it's a better just a better way of recovering cards than this. And it actually has a floating effect. And the floating effect is that if it's removed from the field, just shuffle three Sky Striker cards back into back into the deck for free without drawing. So, not a really good card overall. It's just too slow. And finally, the card I don't run is Shark Cannon. What this one does is that you pick a monster in your opponent's graveyard and banish it. And... If you have three spots in the grave, you get to, you, you get to special summon it on your side of the field. But the, with the restriction that cannot attack. Here's the problem. Oh. 
Call Upon the Grave already does that, except it has the added effect of actually negating the monster, the card effect. So it not only stops hand traps, but it also has a secondary purpose, and that's banishing tar potentially target monsters that your opponent tries to bring back or something. So, meaning that this card is practically useless in comparison. And the whole bringing back your most important monster? Well, again, Monster Report Born accomplishes that already. Hmm. So you're better off using, just using Call for the Grave. Or DD Crow. The only reason I would recommend you running any of these cards is because they're searchable. That's it. But other than that, you got much better options. And that's why I'm running. That's what I'm running. Okay, so that's it for the discussion portion. Now for the extra deck. And for the extra deck, we got... Uh, Sky Striker Ace Kagari, Shizuku, Hayate, and Kena. Now, Kena, I only run, run one copy of, while well, I run three copies of the rest. Now, I would run three copies of this, but I can't. It's limited. It's limited because of its recovery effect. Because as soon as it's a special summon, you don't have to link summon it. Just special summon it. You get to bring back any Sky Striker spell card to your hand from the graveyard. So, it allows you to basically recover... Just about any of these spell cards. So imagine if you could run more of these. That would be a problem. Big problem. And then we got Shizuku, who allows you to recover. No, allows you to search out any Sky Striker spell card as long as long as there's no copy of it in the grave already. And as I mentioned before, that's why this card was a bad idea because using it early on, Shizuku's uh, search effect will be um, pretty limited. And it also has a secondary effect where for every spell card in the graveyard, all your opponent's monsters lose 100 attack and defense. Which in the late in the late game, that makes it Shizuku pretty difficult to beat over. And you can pretty much beat over anything. Uh, Kagari has the opposite effect where she gains 100 attack for each uh, spell and trap from the graveyard. But trust me. You will not be using her for offense. For the most part, you should be using her for recovery. Shizuku as the mainstay here. She's the one you got to go with. Uh, as for Hayate, um, Hayate uh, basically acts like Foolish Bear of Goods. So it can attack directly, doing chip damage, and then you can send a um, spell card to the graveyard. Now, if you're going second, uh, if you're going second, this is the card you would use. You attack, send, send the card to the grave, and then pick uh, Kagar and then like some Kagar to bring that card back. So. Um, it's also a great way to get more spells in the graveyard if you need to. But you can only send Sky Striker spell cards. That's the only downside, which kind of sucked in my opinion. Now, one Kena, I, run, I only run one Kena because I don't use it very often. Um, but she's really useful when you're, de when you're dealing with an opponent who is about to attack you. Wow, I sound stupid right now, but hear me out. So one thing I neglected to mention up until now is that Rhea uh, has a sec has two effects, and I wanted to wait until this moment to talk about it. Her first one is that you contribute her to special summon any Sky Striker Ace monster from the extra deck. So not Link Summon, Special Summon, major difference. And also she has a graveyard effect where if a Sky Striker Ace uh, Link monster is destroyed or leaves the field for any reason whatsoever. Like, if it's destroyed by uh, by battle or at least you feel by card fashion, you can bring her back. Each effect is a hard once per turn, though. But you can use both at once. So here's what I mean. Uh, you have, like, say, Shizuka on the field. It gets destroyed. You bring back Ray, And then you tribute Ray to summon Kena to stop the other monsters from attacking. Because that's what it does. When special summoned, you can pick one monster your opponent controls that cannot attack during that uh, until the end of your opponent's turn. And it does have a secondary effect, which I guarantee you'll never use. And that's that you gain 100 life points for every spell card you use. Or rather, a Sky Striker spell card. Wow, talk about limitations, but... Mm. For Kagari to be unlimited, Engage would need to be limited. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's so true. Because a combination of Kagari and Engage would be severely broken. I mean, no doubt. No doubt in my mind that, uh, you know, um, I was I was not aware of Sky Strikers until I started playing Master Duel, so there's no doubt in my mind that 
when Sky Striker was first released, Kagari and Engage were uh, were full. Oil. We're at three. We're completely unlimited. Like I know the TCG and the Master Duel bandlets are different. So, you know, I, uh, okay, uh, this is totally my fault. I'll admit this, but I haven't had a chance to check out the uh, the TCG, TCG bandlets just yet, just yet. So I don't know what it looks like over there. But this bandless over here does make sense because I bet I'm willing to bet that Sky Strikers were incredibly broken when they first came out. So that would make sense, you know. Maybe they thought, you know what, this combo is way too broken. Let's uh let's dumb it down. Let's slow it down. So we did. Okay. So that's it. So uh one more Sky Striker. Card I want to mention is Sky Shirker Zeke. Zeke actually requires two monsters. It's a link two, but it has to be at least one Sky Shirker monster in the mix. So this is actually another card you do not use very often because uh, this whole deck is about all about link summoning link one monsters. So what this does is that uh, it gives a thousand attack for every card you sent to the graveyard. And it's a permanent attack reason. That's a hard one per turn, by the way. So, no, actually, no. It's a soft one per turn, but still, you're, you're only willing to run. So, you're only really one. So, you might as well, uh, you might as well uh, just uh, make it a hard one per turn. But another, the main effect, the, but another effect you want to use this for is when it's uh, link summoned, you get to pick one monster your opponent controls and banish it. Until the next end phase, so you can potentially clear out a problem boss monster, even if it's for one turn, because that way you can go in for the kill. Hmm. Says that says in TCG, Kagari is at three and engages at one. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Um. Okay. Now it, that is a uh, message jewel is more on the OCG side of the ban list things. Okay. Okay. Okay, that makes sense because I know the OCG max C is at three, and it's at three here. Where here in the states, it's um banned completely. But honestly, um, if Kagari is at three and and uh, engages at one, that's all you need. That's all you freaking need. Unless of course you end up using a uh, uh, multi roll and end up banishing your only copy of Engage, in which case uh, you're pretty much screwed right there. But in the late game, though, in the late game, engage won't be an issue anymore. Um, you summon Kagari, you can bring, you can pretty much grab any Sky Striker card. I mean, keep grabbing Widow Anchor, uh, keep grabbing uh, uh, Eagle Booster, because to me, these two are the main cards. These two need to be available to me, or else I'm screwed. Okay, so that's it for the Sky Striker side of things. Uh, now to talk about um, the rest of my link cards. Um, of course, we got Nightmare Phoenix and uh, Nightmare Unicorn. Uh, I want to bring those up uh, first to get them out of the way because I hardly use these two. Hardly. And, uh... What, even our Sky Strikers? Um... Oh, hey, cuz. Uh, let's see here. TCG has Mystic Mine over Max C. I'd rather deal with Max C over another Floodgate. Uh, you know, I've, um... Bit, practically retired from the physical card game. Um, I simply haven't had a chance to uh, get back into it. Yes, I'll tell you, yeah, for the next stream. Thank, uh, I appreciate you being here, cousin. Now, what was I? Oh yeah, I, I, it's been a while since I retired from the physical card game, so I've I've never had the chance to deal with Mystic Mine, but I I am familiar with the card, and I can imagine how proper back it could be. And um. To answer your question, what are Sky Strikers? Well, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm getting I'm getting the deck profile out of the way before I start um, the actual rank matches. I'm almost done, I swear. I'm almost done. And once you see them in action, you'll see they're pretty cool. So, what was that? Oh, yeah, I was talking about Nightmare Unicorn and Nightmare Phoenix. Uh, staples in every, just about every deck. I mean, if, runs, if you can link summon, everybody runs those cards. But honestly, I hardly use them now. At least in this deck, I hardly use them. They're good cards in their own right, but I hardly use them. 
but they're really good in their own mind, in their, in their own uh, way. And speaking of which, uh, the Gusu is another um, card that I hardly use, but it's, it's here uh, on standby whenever I need it. Mm. Mm. More so control deck. Oh yeah, they're definitely control deck because once you get the momentum going, oh my god, your opponent can't do shit. So, especially when you got like strong link monsters like this. I mean, let's take Nigusu over here for example because Nigusu is a link three that requires at least um, two link monsters. So it's pretty difficult to summon, but not for a deck like this. And the trade-off is that you can remove one of your opponent's cards and by by sending one of your own. So it's a one for one trade, but that's what I like. You send the cards. So I can bypass destruction immunity. And plus you can also trigger um area zones of floating effect. So a lot can go right here. But now for the main bread and butter, uh we got Christian Hockey Fibrax. Uh earlier I mentioned that I that Ghost Bell up here had runs has a secondary purpose. Even though not many people run it. I like to run it though. And that's the fact that it's a tuner monster and Hockey Fibrax requires at least one tuner monster. That's why that's why I run uh, uh, two ghost spells to serve that purpose whenever I need it. Uh, and then the chain reaction starts. Uh, Summon uh, Hockey Vibrax, bring out uh, Effect Veiler. And that's the reason why I run Effect Veiler over Infinite Permanence because uh, it's, it's also a tuner. I can summon it with Hockey Vibrax. And then I use uh, Hockey Vibrax to um, summon uh, Queen of the Master Magicians over here. Use her effect to bring back Effect Veiler. And boom, access Code Talker. Uh, Everyone gets wrecked. Everything gets wrecked as soon as Axis Cold Talker comes out. He's a late game card, but that's a staple for a reason. Everybody runs it for good reason. And in a deck like this, mm, I'll drink to that. Now, that's it for the extra deck. I'm done with the deck profile. This is this what I'm going with. Now, one last thing before I actually get to the rank matches, as promised, is that I do want to give one honorable mention. Uh, give me a chance to search it. Uh, the link two. What are the attributes? And that's the Kita the Fire Charmer Ablaze. Now, this was recommended to me. I tried running it, but the problem is I never summoned it. And the reason why it's this card is um, potentially good is because um, Kagar is a fire monster. Which allows you to summon this. And because uh, Ash Blossom is very common, you use her effect to bring Ash Blossom back. And then go for that. Uh, oh, excuse me. And go for the Axis Cold Talker uh, combo I told you about. But again, when I was practicing with this deck, I've never used this at all. And it's for that reason why I removed it. So I just downloaded the Steam. <laughs> Um, my recommendation for you, since it is your first time playing this game, um, look up deck profiles for returning players. That's all I can say. I mean, my very first deck profile, this is my second action. My very first deck profile, my first demonstration was a virtual world uh, deck, and it worked out great for me as a returning player. So, with that said, let's uh, get into the matches, shall we? Now. My goal today is to get through 10 matches. 10. Win or lose, I'm gonna get I'm gonna go through 10 matches, see how well it does. Now, again, new cards just got released a few days ago, so I don't know how striker sky strikers are gonna do against those, but we'll see what happens. So let's do this. Uh, I don't know, sky strikers are not type of deck. We'll see how it goes. Oh, this is actually a good opening hand. Nope. <laughs> Banish cards for nothing. And that's why everybody runs Ash Blossom. Searching is very common. Okay, so that's two cards, and okay, I guess that's it. All right. Let's 
So, um, first off, I'm gonna get Upstart Goblin out of the way. So, that puts a spell, one spell card in my grave. Wait, Monster Reborn? What is that? I oh, yeah, I can use that to bring back Ash Blossom. Um, it's actually way too soon to go into Axe's Code Talker, even though I could. Hmm. But what I can also do is go into Nightmare Phoenix and, um, take out one of those spell cards. One of those back rows. I don't know. Do I want to use my, uh, Ash Blossom that way? I'm sorry, my Ghost Spell? Oof. Quite a predicament. Uh, let's try it, shall we? Okay, it's Gamble, but I'm going for it. So, bring back Ash Blossom. Alright, he has potential disruption. Summon Ghost Bell. And we're going to go into Nightmare Phoenix. Sweetness. Ah, uh, yes, I'm going to use a Nightmare Phoenix effect. I'm actually going to get rid of Pot of Avarice to blow up uh, this card. Of course! Freaking infinite impermanence. But you know what? You know what? That's not so bad. Because my goal was to get rid of one back row, so... If he has to use infinite impermanence to stop my Phoenix, then obviously this card is important in some way. But, guess what? Now, I have three spells in my grave. So now I get I get to get I get two cards onto my hand, two. What the hell just happened? What the hell just happened? Why didn't it go through? Did I miss something? Did I miss something? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah! God damn it! I, oh my god, I, I am not that familiar with this card at all, and I was completely unaware that the whole negating the column thing was, ah, uh, that was going to be for that one time, crap. Well, I totally screwed the pooch on that one, so. Oh my god, it's a Floron Doris. Uh, eh! Blue One Doris uh, deck. Okay. I'm totally not familiar with the deck, so let's see how this works. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a bit of a gamble and not use Maxi this turn. And I'm gonna wait till his next turn because I know that uh, during his turn, he'll be able to um Uh Oh. So he just banished my engage. Okay. All right. Well, I can still beat over it. Aha. Okay, that's all I got. Your turn. So, this is the new deck that just came out. So, let's see how broken we're talking here because a lot of people claim that they rage quit against this deck. Another one? Hold on, wait, what? What's going on? I'm trying to read this card. I can just either, either effect, if this card is normal summon, you can target one card in the grave or bash out, well no shit. Then immediately after this card resolves, you can normal summon one wing piece monster if a wing piece monster. If a wing piece monster is normal summoned to your field, 
Pull all the cards banish, you can add it to your hand. Is that what's about to happen? Oh boy. Yep, that got added to his hand. So I can't special summon this turn. Uh, oh boy. I see what's happening. He's doing a loop. He's doing a loop. Not the kind of card I need right now. So, um... Well, bam! I threw that twelve hundred down the drain. What you got? What you got? Hmm. You're not special summon during the turn activate this fact either fact. So no sign you can add one double summon higher one boost for deck to hand and made up this card so normal summon. Ah wow. Okay, wow. I see what's going on. It's like it's like it's deliberately bypassing my max C. Because it's all normal summons. Holy wow. And there goes another spell. He knows what I'm up to. They know what I'm up to. And it's all because I freaking misplayed. Ah. <laughs> Wait, that was a normal summon? Oh boy. It's like Man, I cannot use my Max C, can I? Because there's no special summoning going on. Wow. All because of freaking misplay. That's that's has costed me. <laughs> but you know what? I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna surrender any of these duels. So, whatever happens, happens. Ugh. I'm getting beat up by a penguin. Ouch. <laughs> oh, another upstart. Hmm, let me see here. This guy's seriously messing with me. Oh, I'm, I, look at that. Max save his own. All right. Ooh, charismatic. This doesn't help me at all. Uh, I'm just, I'm gonna set that in my turn. Uh, so what I can gather, because this deck is new to me. I'm not too familiar with it. What I can gather, this deck is all about normal summoning. So it completely bypasses my max E. Uh, oh. 
Wow. Oh shit! Oh wait, never mind, never mind. It's just recovering ban it's just recovering ban managed cards. This is quite a unique deck. I've never seen this before. I would never thought I would ever run into a deck that could completely bypass Maxi. This deck makes Maxi a dead draw. Holy wow, I am impressed. I am so impressed right now that I may consider running a uh, this deck on my, on my own. Oh, now he's just jerking me around. Why? He could have fished me off. Okay, okay. This, now we got something. Now we got something going. Go ahead and activate the floating effect. Let's get right onto the field. Oh. Shit, how am I gonna make this work? I know. Let's go for the link summon. Hayate! This direct attack. You were supposed to hard. Did I miss something here? I think I did. There's Kakari. Wait, what's what the hell? Why did my effects activate me? Hold on, what's going on here? Stopping me. Hmm? That looks like a bad flyer under race player. You call this bad? He's kicking my ass. Shit. Oh yeah, I screwed the pooch on this one. See, I'm not that familiar with the deck, so maybe... Yeah, this is totally on me. Um, God, wow. Yeah, this day, this game was nothing but misplay, so... Again, I totally screwed the pooch on this one, so... Yep. I deserve what's coming. Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. But 
Fortunately for you, there is a crafting system, so that makes things a little bit easier. And not to mention, um, if you get the um, the dual pass, it just becomes easier to grab um, to, uh, crafting materials. Uh, uh, oh, come on. That's just insulting. That's just insulting. Come on. A better player would have barrier statue of st swords, storm winds, so you couldn't special summon anything except wind monsters. And he filed his board, and he filled his board up with too many small birds. Okay. All right, game two. So what? You, so 420. What you're saying is I got my ass kicked by a amateur, someone who could have built the deck better. Is that what you're saying? Because if that's the case. That my god, I am rusty. But I, like I said, I chuck this up to um, misplay after misplay after misplay, okay? So, I pretty much screwed myself over during that duel. The flu, you could, you could get your whole board set up with only four summons. Plays around the bureau. Why, yes, it does. Because the bureau's effect only activates on the special summon, right? What is it, like five special summons to activate the Biru? Or just summons in general? Because if it's just special summons, then yeah. This deck, that deck can get around, um, can get around the Biru, and can get around Max C. Holy wow. You know what? Um, I might, like, I'm not the type of person to jump the bandwagon, but I might, excuse me. Kind of. Deck itself is just broken as fuck. Okay. Okay, I'm not. I have to jump the, jump the bandwagon? Oh, five normal or special summons. Well, if that's the case, then no. I disagree. Nibiru can, um... Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Set up with only four summons. Okay, never mind, never mind. You're right, you're right. Nibiru, I can't play around Nibiru, so... So we got a Ray over here. So I'm gonna activate Rhoda real quick. Uh, what I was trying to say is, I'm not the type to join the bandwagon. In fact, every deck I built is because I'm personally interested in them because of their unique mechanics. Like Virtual Worlds. Or this deck. But Flor Florando... Ah, that card, that archetype is so hard to pronounce. Florandoris. That deck is so unique <coughs> that for that reason alone, I might consider running it myself, okay? Again, I'm not the type to join the bandwagon, but... Come on, I cannot pass up a deck like that. Simple, simple as that. Oh, really? Using the Ash Blossom. Okay. But it's okay. I already got Ray in my hand, so... I practically made him waste that uh, Ash Blossom, and I feel proud of that. I feel proud. And what is going on? Why isn't... Uh... Why isn't anything happening? I swear, I swear, if this is another bot, hmm. it's a solid deck. I've been playing it for months in the TCG. It's the first Master Jewel deck I've made that directly mirrors my IRL deck. Oh, he scooped. He surrendered. Ha ha. That counts as a win. Duel three. Galaxy's got a link monster. Yes, it did. Cousin, you, my, my friend, have a lot of catching up to do, which is why I said, look up decks for returning players. All right, so let's start with terraforming. Get a spell card in the, in the graveyard, and uh, let's get. He's got an Ash Blossom, doesn't he? Oh no, Maxi. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. I'm probably gonna use like uh, Maxi. I'm probably gonna like special something like once or twice, so it's no big deal. It's no big deal. <laughs> oh, you're building a Galaxy Eyes deck, okay. You know, I could use Air Sprays to get to use the exp to use the excavation effect. Maybe get another Sky Striker to my hand, but um, 
the way I see it, there's no way I'm gonna get three spell cards in my grave, so I'm just gonna activate activate this now. Galaxy Eyes Fell Grand deck, okay. Um choose your cards wisely because uh Galaxy Eyes can still be good if you know if you know what you're doing. Uh let's get uh let's get multi roll to my hand. First made it when Leaks came out, huh? Alright. Interesting. Uh Galaxy Eyes is still pretty decent in the metagame right now, so. Okay, so let's go with the uh, module. Let's go multiple roll, sorry. Um, let's play uh let's summon uh Ray to the field. I might use Kagari to bring back uh Engage. So my opponent's gonna draw like at least two cards, so I'm okay with that. Because I'm not going to special summon that much this turn. Go spell! Screw you! And that's why I run the ghost spell too. It's okay. I got a plan B. Boom. Activating that alone is all I need. So let's add, uh, let's uh, special summon Shizuku, and, and uh, I think I'll end it there. I mean, you know, I wanted to add Widow Anchor to my to my hand, but that didn't happen. So go ahead and uh, set this, and like I said, we'll end it here. So this activates multiple rolls effect, so I can put um, Engage back into the field. And with Shizuku, and now with Engage out of my graveyard, I can use Shizuku's effect to add another um, uh, Engage to my hand. So I was expecting this to go a little bit quicker, but you know that ghost spell really messed me. Regeki! Nope, nope, I don't freaking think so. Nope, not happening. Nope. Damn it, if only I had a third spell card in my graveyard. What are we doing? Oh, prank kids. I'm dealing with prank kids. Okay. You know, I am currently running a prank kids deck. Uh, I might do a profile on that one next. Uh, I just need to tweak I just need to tweak it a little bit, that's all. But I do run prank kids myself, so. I know what I'm dealing with here. Okay, going for the usual combo. There's a uh, uh, do 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 do, which lets him add a prank kids uh, card to his hand, and of course the fancy effect. He can also summon another prank kids monster to the field. That's funny how Roxy's just got uh, semi limited. Huh? He runs the trap card. Okay. Okay, so it's got a graveyard effect, but to me personally, it's not that good. So that's why I don't run it. Um, so I was going for the fusion summon, okay. Uh, okay, this is interesting. This combo surprises me. Oh, prank this. Okay, I forgot. I forgot about its effect. So there's the buff because he fusion summoned, and if he link summoned, uh, he'll um, nerf my monsters. Uh, Rocks his effect. This banished. Uh, huh. Why would they run that card? That that seems so strange. All right, Rocket's effect bring back uh, two prank kids from the grave. 
Ah, two Lampsies. Okay, that's interesting. So, what now? Is he gonna go for another Link Summon? Most likely. Yup! Damn it, where's Maxi when you need him? Bow Wow, alright. What, you're not gonna throw from monsters? Okay. He went for the boss monster, huh? Alright. That's cool. Now for raise effect uh, to bring her back. And I'm going to tribute Ray to summon another Link monster. And in this case, it's going to be, uh... Ray Akena. Uh, I'll use Kena's effect to uh, stop you from attacking. All right. So, lore-wise, um, there is an interesting story behind Sky Strikers. Um, the reason why Ray is the only monster in the main deck is because mm. the thing is, um, the Sky Striker Link monsters—they're basically the same monster, Ray. She's just like um, using different armors. If that makes sense. Like, she's constantly switching up armors. Oh, right. multi rolls effect. Because I activated uh, the booster earlier. Eagle booster. And I know what's going to happen here. Um, see? Yes, this. The thing is... Um, Meow Meow has a secondary effect. During my turn, he can banish this instead of tripping, tributing his monster over here. And he's basically using clear my back row. He can use it any time. So... This is quite a predicament over here. Um, shit. So I might as well activate engage now. So I might, I might as well go for it. God damn it! Freaking Ash Blossom ruining my day like that. Well, that was random. Mm -hmm. Yep. Doing exactly what I say it would do. Clear my back row. Might as well. It's gonna get it's gonna get removed anyways. But one thing you did not count on is the fact that area zone has a floating effect. Which getting his cards back. Hmm. Yes, I will use it. Um, this time, bring out Rose because I already have a Ray in the grave. And Ray's effect is a hard one per turn, so I might as well go with Rose. Huh. I'm getting, I'm getting a surprising amount of life points. Hmm. Do we know what that face down is? No, it doesn't seem like I do. Give me a sec. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that face down. <laughs> Need three cards to complete your deck. Are you building your deck already? Oh, infinite impermanence! That's what it was. Hmm. 
Ah! Ah! Huh, for some reason, I'm the pyramids didn't go through. So I'm gonna avoid putting anything in this column over here. Hmm. Well, good luck with the galaxy eyes because uh, some decks are not as strong as they used to be. I could go with Zeke. Hmm, no. I need to, uh, make some room. Yeah, I'll go with Zeke. Dude, should you throw an Ash Blossom? Dude, that's not even a question. Ash Blossom is pretty much mandatory in every deck. Destroy you? Did I miss something? Wait. Did I miss something here? Why, why wasn't he destroyed? Why didn't he go boom? Did I, did I miss something? What the, what the hell's going on? Why didn't he get the... Why didn't he get destroyed? Hmm, let's see. What the hell? I'm confused. Something didn't go something went wrong. Why didn't he get destroyed? Am I missing something here? I don't I don't see any effects that could have caused this. Oh you! I forgot about you! Bow Wow did this! Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Hold up. Give me a chance to think here. Oh, wait, I have an idea. With a waker! Yes, I'll draw another card. And it's an upstart, which I'll activate now. Batwell stops it from being destroyed. But there's another way to remove it, which I'll which I'll do now. Use the slink fodder. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Or. Hmm, for some reason, well, let me use that. Hmm, I'm thinking of using. Ac I'm, I want some access code talker. Hmm. Would I be able to? Let me try. Yes! Hold on. But first, I gotta do some math. Uh, 63. I'm using a Link Monster, so we'll gain 4,000 extra attack for 63. These two, all this together, we go 6,000. Uh, let's do it!
Time for a full board wipe! There we go. Not gonna reduce the damage. I mean, I did the math, and uh, all together, that would equal 6,000 attack points anyway, so I might as well go for a Cold Talker. Is there a way to bulk dismantle or do I have to do it one by one? No. Yeah, you can, you can dismantle by bulk. Uh, there's actually a uh, option to do that. Um, where... It'll, so you... you um, do uh, a bulk dismantle, yes. You can do it automatically or you can select specific cards to dismantle, like put it on a list. And then once you select enough cards, they'll all be dismantled. Ah, oh, it doesn't burn damage there. Okay. Oof. Maybe that chart card was not wasn't such a bad idea after all. Meow meow. Man, you know it's self, and I totally forgot about Bow Wow's effect. Wow. What is up with me today? It's like it's like one misplay after another. This is not going well for me. There's the bonds monster, battle butler. Which will no doubt use to get rid of my uh, code talker. Yep. Oh my god, uh, this is a this is a worst case scenario kind of thing right now. So, oh my god, I need a full blown the heart of the cards moment right now. But this is actually giving me a lot to consider because I've been meaning to, uh, that's it. I'm done. There's nothing, nothing I can do here. That's all I can do. That's it. I did say no surrender, so... Whatever happens, happens. Ah, oh my God, things are not going well. But you know, you know something. I um again, I do run my own prank kids deck. Uh, seeing this uh, actually gives me a lot to, to to think about. So this is um I consider this a learning experience. Okay, this my friend is a learning experience. Oh, that's insulting.
All right, duel three. Hopefully, I can get through this one without misplaying. And this is actually not a bad opening hand. I can work with this. Wait. I'm... Oh, okay, it's a Necros deck. I have not seen a Necros deck in a long time. So, this is uh, going to be quite the experience. Preparation of rights. What do we got? Necros of Brionic. Search on another Necros monster, okay. Necros Kaleidoscope. When was the last time I seen a uh, Necros deck in action? This, this is going to be interesting. Necros, Necros of Unicorn. Oh boy. Necros Mirror. Shit. Ah, oh, brought the boss monster already, huh? Okay, what am I dealing with here? Max! Max D, where the hell were you when they needed you, man? Skyzone should be two Necros monster from here. When the monster effect is activated, you can tribute one monster from your hand or field. Oh, okay, so it stops monster effects, so. What about you? What do you do? Okay, so right now he's just a beat stick, so I got nothing to worry about him. So this card's gonna. This one's gonna disrupt me. It will, so. Right after bat, I'm gonna have to use a uh, Widow Anchor on it. Huh? What happened here? Ah, uh, okay, okay. You just uh, used up some protection. Wow. Okay, uh let's put my uh cosmic cycle phase down. Uh we're gonna use the area zones excavate excavation effect, see if I can get some luck going. Oh, okay, there's an engage. Perfect. Engage is just a card I need it. Alright, um, We're going to use it now. We're going to get another Widow Anchor to my hand. Stop this card from doing anything. Take control? Yeah, hell yeah, I'll take control of it. I didn't realize I had three spell cards in the grave already. Hmm. Oh, okay. I, th I know exactly how to approach this. Bam! Get rid of you. Go for a direct attack. Activate her effect. Get Kagari onto the field. Trigger her effect. Get engaged back to my hand. Go for another direct attack. Well, bam! And now to get rid of that monster. Zeke! You are needed. Zeke served her purpose, so... Now to summon Shizuku.
We're going to activate Engage once more. Uh, don't have any options, so I'm just going to add uh, Afterburners to my hand. Draw the extra card. Yes, I will. There's a Rota, which I will activate. This time I'm going to add Rose to my hand. Put my uh, Eagle Booster face down, and... And my turn using Shizuzu Shizuka's effect to add a uh, uh, multi-roll to my hand. Which a high side should have been a better option, but you know what, um, I, I don't regret it. Boy. Sky Strikers are awesome. Come on, look at this. They're standing up to neck cross. Hmm, should I be worried? What's, what's going on? Okay, so it's just a, it's just a search effect. Nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. And then another ritual mirror to the hand. All right. Uh, what's going on here? Hmm. You control no monsters, which you don't. Okay, so it's another searcher. Okay. Two for the price of one. Adding a Nerdcross Mirror to the hand. So, what else are you going to add? Come on, what you got? What you got? Okay, another Necros Kaleidoscope. That's um a little bit concerning. A little bit. Uh, Maxi time. Hmm. A little rascal. Hmm, what did you what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Okay, okay. Uh nope. Eagle Booster, go. So now my monster is unaffected by card effect and it cannot be destroyed by battle. Top that. Yeah, I try to beat over it. Yeah, right. That ain't gonna happen. Can't beat over anything. Play my multi roll. It's gonna be useful later. Oh! He surrendered! I'm right, going second. So, uh, am I am I in dual five right now? I think this is dual five. I'm already starting to lose track here. I'll check the records. We'll see where I'm at. So, uh, okay, okay. So it's not the pot. Okay. Ah, uh, it's a dull deck, but this is a full blown six card deck. That's uh, kind of concerning. Hello, Construct. Uh, nope. You don't search when I, when I have Ash Blossom in my hand. No siree.
Whoa, that's a new one on me. Huh. Oh, I've never seen that happen before. That's uh, interesting. Okay, what am I dealing with here? Get up in the show battle, and, and it's basically a grand mole. Okay. Oh, gold spell. Okay. Uh, let's go with multi roll. I might regret that. If they decide to trigger that face down card, crap! Yeah, no, I don't think so. That ain't happening. So long, trap! Alright, let's get my uh, engage going. So, can that be a battle, but it can't be the a card effect, so, so that, uh, I can use that to my advantage. But first, I need to get Ray out. Get my Kagari. Engage back to the hand. Hmm. I'll go with Afterburner. There doesn't seem to be anything that'll stop me from destroying it, so. Boom. All right, let's go with uh, Hayate. Because I need more spells in the grave. That's why I'm summoning Hayate. But what do I send? That's the real question here. Uh, I guess I can send the other copy of multi rule. Hopefully that uh, won't go against me. So just bring out Shizuku to end my to end my turn with. And I think I may have regret. I think I might regret um, sending multi roll instead of a different uh, Sky Striker card because, oh boy. Yep, she looks like a different card. I'm. I will indeed regret this. Hmm. Yeah. What the hell? Why not? And now to shuffle the order. And gonna use this as. You know, I should have thought that through. That was another misplay on my end. I should have thought that through. Maybe like a Widow Anchor or an uh, a Eagle Boost or something. But no, I totally screwed that one up. Totally screwed the booch. Hopefully it won't be so bad. Okay, Foolish Barrel. Uh, What you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? Ah, oh, Wendy. Wendy is so annoying. So 
So we got face down doll monster. Okay, what's a flip effect? Should I be worried? Oh, okay, so it's floating effect. Let's just search a uh, spell card, but flip effect uh, monster. I'm sorry, monster, but the flip effect. Let's search a. Uh, all right. Ah, that only works in face-up monsters. Okay. Um. How do I approach this? This gives me a, this gives me somewhat of an idea. Hold up. And go for the activation effect, okay. Crap, all I got was Ray. Don't need Ray right now. Oof. Do work some face ups. Uh okay. I need to think this through. Very carefully. Do I bring a Hayata now? This defense points. Okay, I can easily beat over it. Okay. And I got a, I got an Ash Blossom, so this is not gonna work out. Why didn't Ash Blossom work that time? Okay, this time I gotta play smart. Widow Anchor. And now to make room. Zeke! Dance on Shizuku. Go with Engage. Add uh, the Eagle Booster to my hand. Yes. And yes, I'll draw the extra card. Oh, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I'll set Eagle Booster. And I'll set Call by the Grave. Hmm. You know, now that I think about it, this is uh, actually not a great board state, but luckily I can make room. Which is actually what I'm going to do. That cosmic cyclone, and yes, I'll use the uh, multi rolls effect to add a uh, widow anchor into the field, like I should have. Now, I'll use Shizuka's effect to add, yeah, another widow anchor to my hand. All right, I'm good to go. This could be my longest stream yet. 
Uh, nope. That is why you run Ash Blossom. I can honestly say this duel is over. I'm calling it right now. This duel is over. First, go spell to the field. Link summon. Chris Strawn Halky Fibrax. Easy Halky Fibrax effect. Summon Effect Bailer. Next, going for uh, Link 3. Selena. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just here for the ride. This this is like a roller coaster. There's ups and there's downs, but either way, you're going to have a lot of fun. Also, study well, my friends. Study well, because these are the kind of decks you'll be dealing with in Master, in Master Duel. And to clarify even further as to what's going on, I'm freaking dominating. That's what's going on. Axis Code Talker. Watch out for this card. This card is going to be everywhere. Axis Code Talker's effect. Bumping up to 53, and this duel is over. Bam! Pure dominance. Duel six. Oh, this is actually a great opening hand. Did I mention the Sky Striker spell cards are not once per turn? That's what makes them so great. Okay, part of extravagance. That's not that's not bad. Okay, so with a card like that, obviously he doesn't need his extra deck, so this will be interesting to see. Wait, five face to Oh no! No 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 no, this is not an Eldritch deck. Please tell me this is not an Eldritch deck. I mean I can handle an Eldritch deck, but Eldritch is just very, very annoying. Alright, so I'm gonna activate my first my two upstarts to get started. And just like that, I'll have uh, two spell cards in the grave. No, I'll have three spell cards in the grave. Right off the bat, all right. So my Sky Strikers will be at full power. And just like that, boom. Oh, I, I draw Rhea, so I don't have to search for it. Uh, let's go for multi roll. Oh, even better. I got a window anchor. This keeps getting better and better. Called it. I knew it. It was an Eldritch deck. Get on with the show, shall we? Activate another engage. Let's see, I already got a Widow Anchor on my hand, so I guess the next best move would be to add an Eagle Booster to my hand. Like so. Draw an extra card, yes, and it's another multi roll. Summon Rhea, and with Rhea, I'm gonna go for like a double direct attack.
Wow. Just wow. That could have gone better. But I do have a backup plan. But before I do, I'm going to activate my second multi roll. So I can have a target for my uh, area zone's excavation effect. I'm telling you, right now, there's no stopping me. This is a great opening hand. Oh, sweet. Another Eagle Booster. I'll take it. And so I'll activate uh, multi rolls effect to get rid of my area zone, which activates its floating effect. Which will let me get into the rage of the field. Skill drain! Ah, annoying bastard. Hmm. All right. I know one way bypass uh, skill drain. I'm still gonna go for that double direct attack. Yeah, I might as well go for Shizuku. Kagari is not as pretty useless as it right now. Nope, not happening. Try to disrupt me. Yeah, right. That ain't gonna happen. All right, we're gonna put down Widow Anchor, and we're gonna end it here. And with the power of multi roll, we're gonna set uh, Eagle Booster back. Uh, as well as engage. Set another card. Yeah, I'll do a, uh, I'll do a uh, area zone. Yeah, let's let's put them all back. Let's put them all back. Yeah. Shuffle up my fit, my back row. Uh. I would activate it, but skill drinks is just gonna stop it, so I'd rather not. Hold on, what's happening? Uh, bash this. Okay, let's see here. Oh, so you're gonna set one. Okay, so. That's cool. Paquero, huh? Paquero of the Golden Land. Oh, you. Yes. Okay, I'm Maxi now. Try something if you dare. You will not dare. Nobody dares when I'm around. See? I didn't get anything I didn't get anything on the max C, but I at least stopped him from doing anything else. There you are. That card is not going to be easy to deal with. I just know it. All right, so let's go with engage again. Oh, I'm going to get rid of that skill drain. That's all thanks to this one. Afterburner.
You do not have your protection effects, so... So long, sucker! Starting to I'm starting to regret using my Max C last turn. Okay. Yes! Yes! Sometimes you gotta spend money to spend money to uh, get the best decks. Just like in real life. Dual seven. What the hell? That counts as the game. Dual eight. Boy, start with the upstart, and this is not a good opening hand. But I do got Rose, so it's not too bad. You do with this turn, so I'm just gonna summon a Rose and then. Ah, save your Maxi, you're only gonna draw one card. So, I'm actually not going to use Copper the Great this turn. I'm, I'm going to let him have that one card. Because honestly, that's all I can do this turn. So, go ahead and set uh, my Cyclone. Set my call by the grave and set my widow anchor. Not too bad of an opening hand, but still not very good. So I'll right, engage my hand and we're set. Hmm. What do we got here? Ah, uh, it's another Soul Soul deck. Okay. Okay. All right. That's how you want to do things. All right. Let's do let's do it your way then. Ah, uh, let's do a Wither Anchor on you. I'm not going to just summon that token. Once that token gets summoned, boom. We got Synchro Monsters in the field that I can't possibly deal with. And you dropped another 100 attack points, so you can't beat over a monster. Called it. Ah, Baroness, the floor. And are you the one that does burn damage? Yes. And here's the part. And here's the part where I say I don't freaking think so. Twelve hundred ain't much, but but what really worries me is that Baron has that one-time Omni Negate. and that's something I have trouble getting over, getting around. 
Uh, why isn't the attack going through? There we go. So I at least stopped them from, from doing a second synchro summon. So I'm gonna give them another thousand life points just to get rid of that face down. Am infinite impermanence, okay. Another cosmic cycle, that is not good at all. Fire. Sent to the graveyard, that's not good. Ugh. I'm in a very bad spot right now. Very bad spot. Watch, it's gonna get negated. Watch, it's gonna get negated. That's surprising. Kinda makes me regret using Call for the Grave now, but what can you do? That was total south. That, that, that's how bad it was.
I must applaud it. I must applaud. That was um That was the most unique strategy I've ever seen. <laughs> I've never seen Cannibal Turtle used that way. That is amazing. That's actually amazing. I gotta give I gotta give props to this guy. This Oh! He's Asian, that's why. <laughs> I think he's Asian, but you know, an old friend once told me, there's always an Asian kid better than you. And I think I found just that. Wow, okay. <laughs> Applaud. <laughs> Big hand. That was impressive. That was very, very impressive. That was... I don't, I don't know what to say. That was really impressive. I'm, my jaw's on the floor. I am speechless. I've never seen Catapult Turtle used that way. That is, that is really cool. But let this be an example. Six Samurais are among the most broken decks out there. And I'm amazed that not many people run them anymore. Especially here in Master Duel. I've been playing this game for a very long time. This is only the second time I ever took on a, a, a Six Samurai deck. The last time was uh, me losing to the Max C challenge. This time was Catapult Turtle. Hopefully the next time I face one, um, we'll see how it goes. All right, last duel for today. Last one, duel number 10. And this is uh, not a good opening hand. And did you seriously forget what Catapult Turtle does? That's like an old school card, you should know it. All right, I'll tell you. As you just saw, Catapult Turtle allows you to inflict, uh... so Catapult Turtle allows you to tribute the monster and then you inflict damage equal to half that monster's attack points. And, and that, what just happened, the goal there was to beef up that one monster so that its attack points will be double my life points. Triple Catapult Turtle and boom, take me out. And yes, this game does have cross-platform. Right now I'm playing on Xbox, but, you can, but it's also available for all consoles, PC, and mobile. Also available on mobile. And it looks like we're ending things on with the Drytron deck. You know, I tried building a dry Drytron, yeah, a Drytron deck myself, but it didn't work out because uh, Ben Ten, uh, that card right there, got hit, got hit, and got sent to the limited list. So Drytrons uh, pretty much died down after that. But it's amazing that there's still still some people out there that are willing to try. Wow, that's surprising. And I noticed I lost a card from him. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I forgot. I used uh, Ghost Bell. Um, good thing I used Ghost Bell. Um, first, I used uh, Engage to add a uh, multi roll to my hand. And that's where we're going to start. Hello, Maxi. Hmm. There's multi roll. I'll activate it now, and I'm also gonna add. Uh, I'm also gonna activate airspace. That way, I can get right onto the field. Boom. Uh, all right, let's go. Let's get rid of you, shall we? Then activate your effect. We're going to bring out uh, Hay Hayate. And go for the direct attack. Ah, boo!
But I believe that triggers raise effect, though. Yes, it does. Ah, damn it, Eva. Really? Done a Herald. Herald of Orange Light. Wow. Bam! Give it to you. And, uh... Let's go with Kagari. And engage back to my hand. I'm going to summon Rose now. Rose can summon herself in the hand when you um, special summon the Sky Striker monster. So now I can safely summon Shizuku. We're gonna set Eagle Booster face down, and we're gonna end my turn. We're gonna end. The, we're gonna end my turn here. Get multi roll to bring back uh, Engage, and Shizuku's effect to uh, fucking Ash Blossom. Wow. He, he was, this guy had a whole bunch of descriptions. Did not let me do a damn thing. <laughs> Already online? Nice. Got some pre preparation of rights. Well, I can't stop it now because I used up my ghost spell. And according to this, uh, yeah, he has he has two copies, as expected. <laughs> Try trying off a tumor. What's it? Why? What are you trying to do? Maxi. This deck is kind of strong. Well, it feels that way because you're in the lower levels right now, but just wait till you get to the upper levels. Trust me, the higher you go in the ranks, the tougher the opponents. But that's every rank. That's every game with rank, uh, with ranked online. Hmm. Oh boy. Bring it back, Ben K. Ben 10, huh? And look at that. Thanks to the power of Maxi, I'm recovering my hands slowly but surely. Oh no, it's help fashion. Great, I'm screwed because no matter what I activate, um it's just gonna straight up negate it. You know, surprisingly, um, 
out of the 10 duels, I, I don't think I bricked once. That's a good thing because, uh, you know, you don't want to brick. That's right, keep filling my hand. Uh, look at that, I'm already at five cards. Oh, the, the Xyz tried drawn, okay. Uh, nope. If it's got a search effect, I ain't gonna let it happen. And now I'm gonna activate this. And a pathetic attempt to protect my monster. Yep, he's negating that too. Probably has a fat hand full of fairies, so. <laughs> yep. Lots of decks have, have the potential to brick, so be careful. Man, six samurais all over again. Uh, who knows? I think this guy might take the max C challenge. I might deck out because of this, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Who knows? Ah, oh, wow. You again. Okay. That card's going to get in my nerves. I just know it. Check it out. All spell cards. And another ritual summon's coming. Oh boy. Dry Trons and there's ritual summoning. What can you do? And what's unique about Dry Trons is that you can pretty much use any ritual deck. Or, I'm sorry, any ritual cards to go to coins that log them. And unlike um, traditional ritual summoning, they don't use levels. They go based on attack points. And that's why Drytrons have uh, 2,000 attack points for that very purpose. Oh, I got the ghost spell. Let's see if I can uh, do a little bit of disruption here. There's the Omni Negate. But luckily, uh, Bear and Baron the Floor can only uh, do one, can only do the on the gate once while it's on the field. So, at least I get them to waste it. Got a whole bunch of spells in my hand, so um, with uh, that many cards in the, in the opponent's hand, uh, I'm not—I don't know if they can do much with that. I mean, maybe they can get a couple of cards, but I should be able to power through it, hopefully. Hmm. Let's see what kind of protection these cards have. Hmm, how about you? Megalith card, okay.
And I already know about you. There's that 1% destruction effect. And I just realized that I am screwed. Man, I was hoping for a strong finish, but I guess that didn't happen tonight. Dry trying to still work. Well, 10 duels as promised. This is this overall sky strikers are they're really good. I mean when it when it gets going, it really gets going, you know? So I mean when the odds are in your favor, uh, you can pretty much control the field. So this is actually a really good deck. Um Maybe I'll still improve it as the, as uh, time goes on, but for now I'm perfectly satisfied with the way this deck is built, so Sky Strikers uh, highly recommend it. I mean, as you can see, um, it's uh, it's like, it's actually a bit budget friendly, actually. I mean, um, a lot of the main Sky Striker cards uh, don't require much resources to make, um, or the uh, the packs in which they come in uh, will pretty much get you every card if you have enough gems. But I really like using the deck, so. With that said, um, with that said, um, I'll live here and I'll see you when I rise again. <laughs> I like that catchphrase.